Connor, do you remember our first date? I do remember our first date because we bring it up all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, our first date was April 3rd, yep. 2018 at Williams Fresh Cafe. So we sat down and then we just, we're, we're kind of talking about each other and just about our families and about life and about sort of what we wanted to do. Yeah, and then what, 30 minutes turned in three and a half hours? Yeah, and during that, one of my favorite memories was the Kanye West March Madness bracket. Yeah. That we pulled out. One of my favorite memories was you took the salt and pepper shakers and you had your wallet and you're trying to explain your family oh, to me and how like yeah. everyone came from a different place but you're still the same family. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And you're very fidgety. I am a very fidgety person. Yeah. yeah. So here's a big question. Yeah. When did you know? I knew on the first date. Uh, really, on the very first on date. On the first you knew. date, I remember joking and saying, "Wow, I should just propose to you right now because we had so much in common." Obviously, it took a while for me to really realize that this was going to be a really serious, long-term relationship. But at that moment, I have never had a connection with anyone like that, and it was just so authentic. And I was like, "Wow, this is the person." but I was too scared to know and say that. But I did, I remember joking about marriage on our first date, but yeah, that was, I think that was our, that was definitely the moment I, okay, the moment I knew, yeah, the first date. On April 3rd, 2018, at around 5 p.m., uh, I walked in the front door of a coffee shop called Williams Fresh Cafe in London, Ontario. I saw a woman get out of her car and I gave her a cheesy wave trying to act cool, which as all of the people in this room unfortunately know isn't exactly one of my strong suits. And over time, that one date thankfully did become a second, and then a third, and then a fourth, and soon enough, Olinda started keeping track of all of our dates in a shared note on our phones to hopefully one day look back at all of the amazing memories that we shared together. Here are a few things that I want to promise to you right now. I promise to protect you from all of the spiders, flies, and other bugs that make your arms go numb when you see them. I promise to always let you steal my french fries even if you tell me you don't want anything at all. I promise to always be your dance partner and to tone it down a couple notches when you start getting embarrassed. But most importantly, I promise to love you unconditionally and to have the same exact butterflies that I do right now on our 553rd date according to our shared iPhone list that I did on our first one on that wonderful night in April of 2018. With you. So I didn't write a speech yesterday or the week before. I actually wrote a speech in September 27, 2018. I wrote this speech three years ago because I knew Connor was the one once I met him. Connor Douglas Young Moran, you bring happiness and joy into my life by just smiling and holding my hand. There is nothing more special than having your presence, regardless of what we do, what we eat, how late you get there, how much ketchup you eat. You always put a smile on my face, and most importantly, I never leave you without one. We planned our first dance on the first date. We discussed baby names long, not long after. Believe it or not, most of you know this, but getting into a relationship has been the scariest thing I have ever experienced. But with you, it's never been more pleasant. With you, I've broke down all barriers and built a home.